hi guys this is a quick tip on how to use the color variables uh, in Photoshop which will speed up your workflow I don't know 10 times so the best tool and the best way to use color variable currently is to use this plugin uh, called Prisma for Photoshop so just go to their website and uh, it costs 28 euro but it's totally worth the investment and of course they have a trial so just scroll down find your version of Photoshop I prefer CS6 so I would click here I save the file uh, it's going to install in the extension manager blah 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 accept and install it I already have it installed so uh, I'll just decline uh, when you have it installed then just launch Photoshop Let's open some files, see how it works. Uh, -bum. Well, for example, uh, let's work with some real project that I'm currently working on. Uh, here we go, for example. So, if you don't see it here, you go to Windows Extensions and Prisma. I already activated it there. So here's my Prisma. It takes some time to load. First, you'll have to uh, register and log in, and then you can start working. And it's super easy. Uh, they give you uh, they give you built-in tutorial. Uh, but basically, how it works, you have your color variables here. Uh, you select. Oops. Sorry about that. I accidentally changed the color. But this is how it works. You select a color and whichever layers you have linked, they change the color. Uh, same in other files, you can see changed. Sometimes it doesn't change, you have to click in uh, into a layer then it refreshes and basically how you let's how you add it here is you select it's very simple straightforward you select the elements that you want and you then you click here uh, link bam it's here so now that I included them in that variable and if I change color everything changes color Bam. So yeah, that's it. This is uh, the best tool there is currently. Uh, this will speed up your workflow so much because I have uh, 72 <laughs> uh, layouts of this app that I'm working on the design for currently. So imagine changing all the elements in 72 screens of course, some of them are layer comps, but still. So, yeah, that's it. Thanks. Bye. Drop me a comment. Man, how you stop this?